Let's go to the sign of red flag journals. So here I'm saying about the red flag journals. Basically, when you see a journal website, so you can see whether the impact factor is correct or not. So they display fake impact factors most likely. So for us as a researcher, we just only need to see site score by Scopus and impact factor by Clarified Analytics. We don't want to see any other impact factors and we do not want to see any other fake metrics. And another sign is about the false claims of indexing or membership of associations and misleading. You need to check carefully whether they are really indexed in Scopus or Web Science or even Do Watch. So you need to check, not just only believe in it. So whether that even they mention the website that they are indexed in such databases, but be careful, check again, all right? And promising unusual quick peer review process like three days or two weeks accepted as long as authors pay a certain amount of money or article processing charge or ask for a publication fee first to pay before review. So please uh, be careful with this kind of behavior. So if they promise you for the quick peer review process and they promise you for the acceptance, please do not submit to that kind of journal because it is questionable and a sign of red flag journals and if the publisher has an optional fast track fee based service for expedited fee review which appear to provide a short publication with little or no vetting yes it's the same as a point before if they provide you a fast track process with kind of money so please forget about it and another point is about that journal Publish a paper present, presented at conference without additional peer review. So this is many at the moment. When they are working with the conference, they are working with seminars, and then they publish many conference manuscripts without adequate peer reviews. So again, this should be careful for the journal and even for the conference. All right. So that's okay if you partnership with the you know with the conference. Or collaborate with any seminars as long as the manuscript submitted to your journal should be peer reviewed again right? and another point is about the editors publish research in in his own journal for example if I am the editor in Blitz journal and if I publish my research article in there that's not appropriate it's different things if I just publish an editorial right? So be careful with this kind of the journal behavior. And hidden fee, of course. You need to be careful because many journal, they do not provide, do not display the, the how to say, the submission fee, publication fee, color fee, page fee. So you need to recheck again. Sometimes when your article is accepted in, in the international journal and then they send you email a thousand dollars to pay well it's too much right in their website they do not say anything even sometimes they mention there is no submission fee or processing fee but they have publication fee they differentiate between processing and publication fee so please pay attention to this you need to ask and recheck again right and another sign is about unauthorized use of image which is copyrighted so sometimes you can see the journals and then when they took someone else's pictures kind of fishy right so recheck again and make sure that the journal is not linked to the predatory conference you can see in the bell list or any other list that there are some conferences uh, blacklist and another sign is to use boastful language claiming to be a leading publisher even though the publisher may only be a startup or a novice organizations. So if a new journal just one or two years and then they said, we are a leading publisher in this nursing subject. So you cannot claim like this. Another signs of the red flag journals, manuscripts are requested to be submitted via email. Repeated emails, sending an invitation for submissions, which the journal scopes are out of 
areas of author's expertise and the journal has been asked to quit sending emails but they do not stop so many repeated emails come to ask for call for submissions but they are not in nursing sometimes yeah and email invita invitation for editorial board members or reviewers from the journals are received by researchers who are clearly not in the field of the journal covers so also invitation for board members or reviewers uh, is also quite a lot in the emails at the moment and editors or editorial board members or advisory boards are not verifiable so you need to check in the website whether the editors who is the editors they either they provide the id the evaluations the orchard id even if they provide the emails also good and another sign unknown editors absence of academic information and it's also the same and the list of the member out of date so please also reject again about the editorial board members information